Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm just laughing at myself because my hair is so long. Like, my mum wants to get her hair cut so bad and she can't because we can't go to the hairdresser or anything. So I was like, oh, I won't do mine like in solidarity and we'll both have like mess of hair, but um, this is not it anymore. Like I have had enough, like it's so long. Look at this. <laughs> so, I'm gonna cut this before anyone is like, sort your hair out. I'm gonna cut it tonight. Um, but <sighs> you see in the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a rainbow eye tutorial. And that's just because we did a sunset eye tutorial last video. So I was like, this week we'll do like a different eye style with a different color scheme, cut crease, rainbow, boom. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm not gonna do my full makeup routine like I normally do because this is a dedicated eye video. I have other videos on how I do my base and all that. But if you do want me to do like, try and include like the full look in the video then let me know in the comments below if not i'll probably just like break it down into sections so we're going to be doing the rainbow cookery tutorial for this video and i'm never mind let's just jump straight into the video zoomed you in i've done my base and my brows off camera um and now we're gonna do the eyeshadow part so we're gonna be using the me myself and mama mitchell palette from beauty bear it's his collaboration with Beauty Bear. And on this side, you've got these greens and earthier tones and the purples. Then on this side, you've got the pinks and yellows and all the good stuff. So let's just get straight into this tutorial. So I'm gonna take my P. Louise base in the shade 01, and I'm gonna take that on a PC10 brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a small amount and just start buffing it into the lid. So before I start like going crazy with the color, I just wanna map out the kind of design that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just gonna be using the Lux Pencil Petite Brush from Zoeva, the 240, this tiny pencil brush, and I'm just gonna start mapping out the shape that I'm gonna do. There we go, so you can see I've just mapped out with pink, purple, and a little bit of blue, and now we're just gonna start adding those colors but building up the depth. So I'm just gonna take a Mark 239, and I'm just gonna start packing on the pink into this inner part here. Using the same brush, I'm gonna start packing on the purple. And again, using the same brush, we're gonna start packing on the blue. Okay, so now we're just gonna start diffusing the edges with these little pencil brushes. And these are really good for just really softening the edges before you go in with the blending color. And these are just the My Kit Girl 1.20. And I'm taking them clean and we're just gonna soften all the edges. And I'm just doing like light little circular motions. Now I'm going back in with the hot pink and I'm really just gonna work on building this color up and then really blowing it out. Now I'm gonna go in with the pastel purple and do the exact same with the dark purple section. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of putting the brush half on the dark color and half onto the eyeshadow base to really just diffuse it and like blow it out. And now I'm gonna go back in with the dark purple and re-intensify the crease line. And then I want the blue to be nice and smoky, so I'm gonna use a fluffier brush for that. And the brush I'm going to be using is this Unicorn Cosmetics brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's this tiny, tiny little fluffy pencil brush. And I'm just gonna smoke out the darker blue. Then I can go back with that little pencil brush just to kind of define and add some more of the deeper blue shade. Now I'm gonna take a MAC 221 and I'm gonna take some yellow and just start softening out the pink edge with some yellow. And I don't wanna add a lot in, but just like enough so it gives it kind of like that already like rainbow vibe on top because I don't really wanna add red into it, but just by putting the yellow by the pink, it will just make like an orangey pinky blend. And then we can put like lime green on the lid and then it's like more or less rainbow straight away. Before we cut the crease, I'm gonna use the Pigment Fantasy from Peaches and Cream. I'm just gonna put that all underneath the brow bone to make it super metallic. Now to cut the crease, you can do two things. You can do my method, which is clean the lid off with some makeup remover and then carve out with concealer, or you can do it just with concealer or the P. Louise eyeshadow base, whichever you want. But I use these tiny little cotton buds 
and some Embryolisse lotion. Basically my cell water, but this one's just from Embryolisse. And I basically just put this in a little contact lens case, dunk in my Q-tip, and then just remove where I'm gonna cut my crease to. And then when I do cut my crease, it gives it the most cleanest line. Now for the lid, I'm gonna use the P. Louise Limelight Pigment, which is this neon green paint. And we're just gonna carve out kind of like the center part with like the neon green. And then we'll use P. Louise Blank Canvas to do this part. And I'm just using a Sigma Shader Lid E56. And I'm taking very little amounts and just building up the product as I need it. Now that my lid is cut, we're just gonna blend the darker blue onto the lid using the lighter blue and some of the neon green. And to pat the green on the lid, I'm just using a PC36 brush. And then I'm gonna lightly blend some yellow into this section here using the same brush. Then the base on the inner corner will still be tacky. So I'm gonna use the pigment Hollywood, which is this white that reflects gold and just put a little shimmer just on that inner third. Like that, just ever so slightly. And I'm gonna pop that all on the inner corner as well, like in this little part here. So for my under eye, we're gonna do the dark blue to here, and then we're probably gonna do the pink in this inner third here with maybe like a little bit of yellow blended. I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna use the same brush for all of it, which is just a Morphe. It doesn't have a number, but it's just like this dense packer brush here. And that'll be really nice just to kind of really lay the color into the lower lash line. And then we're gonna do the pink on this part. And this is just a Zero 03 brush from, I can't pronounce the name, but it's like Repr, R-E-P-H-R. I'm gonna use that to pick up the pink and just cut this inner third here. So you can see now where the pink and the blue meet, it creates like a purple. So if you ever have like a smaller space to work with, just think like what colors can you fit in that when they blend together, they create another color. So you don't have that much room on your lower lash line. So by doing pink and a blue, you're gonna get purple in the middle. So it looks like you've done three colors when I actually did two. Now, yellow will blend both of these colors out. So I'm gonna use a Morphe M562. And I'm gonna pick up the yellow and diffuse underneath that with some yellow. Actually, I wanna make it even more colorful. I'm gonna blend out some of this blue with the green. And I'm using that same Morphe brush. And there you have it. I'm gonna quickly go do this eye off camera, finish off the rest of my face, and then I'll be back with a final look. And here's the finished makeup look. I literally just did the usual, run off camera, add all the finishing touches, hair, lashes, lips, jewelry, a costume. I had a little extra glitter on the eyes just because as I was doing my base, I was like FaceTiming my friend. And um, we was like, you know what, let's add some crazy blush. So I added some blush, some neon pink blush, and it became very 80s and I was like, I need the eyes to have glitter in them because we didn't really put that much on them. So I just did a little bit of glitter 
on the cut crease, which is my usual. Um, and I've done it like loads of times on different tutorials, so it's nothing new. You already know how to do that, so that's fine. Um, I chucked on a double stack pair of my Ellis Times Ardell lash, and then I chopped off the little inner corner for my bottom lash. And then this is the finished look. I know some of you are gonna pop up in the comments being like, this should have been a full tutorial. It should have been. And I, as I was like adding in the blush and like the pink glow and stuff, I was like, I should have done this as a full tutorial. But it just means I can do another 80s inspired look for another tutorial. So who's a real one here? Me, because I get to do two 80s looks. <laughs> And the wig is a Webster Wigs in the style Lily, and it's the shade Dirty Blonde. Now, the Lily and the Millie are my favourite wigs to wear because they come like this straight out of the bag. I've literally just chucked it on, give it a custom hairline, glued it down, and this is what the wig literally looks like. It's the most natural looking one, I think, that they do. This and the Millie are just beautiful wigs to have. I mean, I love, he does like really beautiful wigs, but these are my favourite ones to wear is the, the Lily and the Miller. Everyone take a shot for every time I say Lily and Miller. Um, but yeah, this is the Lily Dirty Blonde from Webster Wigs for everyone who's asking. But I guess that concludes today's video. So here's the usual. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this makeup look and what other makeup looks you would like me to film or videos in general, whether it's challenges, we could do some, I was gonna say food. <laughs> do you wanna sit and watch me eat? We could do that. Um, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments below what kind of videos you want. But I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.